going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's uh, your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a return to subscribe as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys let me tell you something there's a video going around out here about look like four people going into a 7-eleven and going to rob it and while they go to rob it a deputy walks in there and arrests them now, not only do these young kids look silly, it was stupid rather, it's something I want to show you that I just seen this morning that really shows how dumb these kids were and them getting caught was a no-brainer. I'm going to play you the first initial video and then I'm going to show you the raw unedited video after that. But let's get into this and take a look at this video if you guys aren't familiar with the story. Check this out. That store is just one of a string of 7-Eleven convenience stores that have been robbed recently. Let's get right up to NBC 4's Kristen Kozer as he is live in Carson with more on what happened. And he can tell us if the suspects, Kristen, are connected to any other robberies. Well, Kathy and Jonathan, good afternoon to you. I can tell you that I just got off the phone with the Los Angeles County Sheriff Watch Commander who tells me the four uh, suspects that were arrested in this specific case have been connected to another robbery. That robbery happening at a 7-Eleven in Compton. Now, we are working to get more information for you about that specific situation. But here in this case, those four suspects that were arrested, they happen to be uh, here at this location. And they were arrested here thanks to a sheriff that happened to be walking into the business while the crime was taking place. Now we want to show you the surveillance video from inside the 7-Eleven here on Carson and Avalon Boulevard that shows the four men running into the business. Now three of them quickly jump the counter. Then seconds later you see a sheriff deputy on the bottom of your screen walk in on the crime. Los Angeles Sheriff tells me this all happened around 1230 Saturday morning and within minutes you see several deputies walking inside the convenience store with their weapons in hand and the men with their arms in their in the air. Now customers telling us this afternoon they were upset about the crime that happened right here in their neighborhood. And it's not okay for people to just think that they could come into businesses and steal or take money um, because people work hard for their money and people have to come to work every day. And for somebody to just come in and just steal money, that's not okay. Now take a look here at this video that we want to show you. Now this is here, this is a separate robbery at a different 7-Eleven in Chinatown on Cesar Chavez. LAPD tells us three men and two women armed and all wearing ski masks made off with money from the register and fled the scene in a stolen black Kia. Now back out here live in Carson, I can tell you no reports of injuries, but the four men in this recent case are behind bars in connection to this and another 7-Eleven robbery. Of course, we are working to get more information about that specific case, and I'm hoping to have that those details for you coming up at six o'clock. We are live in Carson, Christian Casares, NBC4 News. All right, guys, that's the uh, latest installment of the world's dumbest criminals. First of all, they run up in the store, they look like little kids. You know, they, you can tell they're young. No hand, no, no, no gloves. Put the hands right on the counter. Everything. Jump over the counter. Why I take four people to jump over the counter? Two of them had guns. It seemed like the other two was unarmed. The last guy that goes up in there, right, just walks in the store, walks around the back just to be nosy and stand there. Think about that. Had nobody outside to see that police cruiser back up to the door and then walk up in there and see what's going on. These people are stupid. They are. And I mean, just doing the crime they did was stupid. Hell, I was stupid when I did my crime. But um, it's so easy to just run up in the store because you know they're not armed. They're not going to do anything. You know, they're scared when you come in with all of that stuff on your face and all of that stuff, scaring them. Terrorist tactics, jumping over the counter like hooligans. And, and, and people are messed up. But this is the part I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you the raw video from the camera inside the store from a downward view. And look how silly these people was. And tell me if you noticed what I noticed in this next part. Check this out.
All right, guys, that's the footage. And as you can see, they were stupid. How you going to put the gun? You so greedy. You going to put the gun on the counter and leave it there for a few seconds right next to the person that could grab it. I don't know about y'all, man, but I mean, when I seen that out of first, I did three things. I would examine the gun to see if the gun was real. I'd have looked because, you know, they wasn't holding the person. I'd have looked to see where that little little dude was with the other gun, the other gunman. Real quick, I'd have spanned. I'd have looked, seen where he was at. Other dude was bent down. I'd have kicked him and simultaneously grabbed that gun and blasted my man behind me. Soon as somebody let that shot off, everybody would have broke out of there. Ain't no way. I mean, it's easy to say that when you're not in that situation, but I've been robbed a lot at gunpoint. So after a while, you know, once you see you ain't, it ain't no real threat to you like that, man, I'd have been so hot that they came in and did that, just had the audacity. Man, I'd have been hot. Kids, man, man, people stupid. Stupid. I mean, you run up on people and just jump in their, jump in their face, just moving them all around and, ah, you ain't going to do nothing like you a piece of furniture or something. Nah, unacceptable. Luckily, the cop was there. Really, in my opinion, like I said before, that last dude that came in there, they ain't even had no plan. He shouldn't even have came in there. You know what I'm saying? He would have seen the cop. The cop backed the SUV up. He pulled up and then backed the SUV up in the spot. He would have saw that. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know if they could have got away or not, but I mean, somebody would have been outside to see that. He came in there to be nosy. So all of them got hemmed up. Then all of a sudden, all you see, the other deputies come in there and arrest them. Me, honestly, if I was a cop, I'd have came in there and beat the hell out of them, then arrested them. Ain't no better. That's why, like, I look at some of these, these things with these crimes and stuff. Man, just like, y'all plan to fail from the jump. Oh, we just going to roll up in here and just take whatever we want. Ain't nobody going to do nothing. We'll jump in there, do what we got to do, and then get out of there. That's a dangerous situation when you in there at a store working by yourself. Because they said this happened at like 12 something at night. That's why I would never work in no gas station late at night like that. Man, that's a, that, man, that's a, that's a hard job to do. Anything can come in there. And you don't know if police are around or not. Luckily, the police was around in this time. But, um... All in all, man, I mean, the, the person survived and they, man, you just put the gun up there. Like, I mean, how dumb is you? You really could. If I seen that, I'm like, yo, they really think they handling stuff for them to put that gun up there like I ain't nothing. See, I think weird. I, I think differently. Like, yo, I know he ain't just put this gun up here. Like, it's like they really relax. They really think they got it like that. I don't know. Maybe it's something I learned when I was in prison, how people play other people. But I just, man, that, that would have set me off, man. You know, luckily nobody was hurt, but they do deserve to get their behinds tore up. I'd have roughed them up before I, I even arrested them. That's just me. That's why I ain't no cop. You know, a lot of times people argue about the police brutality and stuff like that, but some people need an ass whipping because if they did, they wouldn't be doing what they doing. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how crazy them kids was, how stupid they look, you know, putting the gun up there. I tried a new editing feature where I circled the gun. Hopefully it'll come out on video. Y'all tell me if it did or not. But I mean, give me a comment, man. What y'all think? These some stupid kids. And it's like they're going to get dumber. I mean, every time this is seen on TV, it's like nobody learns from it. Oh, they bought something. Limo. We can do it better than them. And then they go in there and try to do this stuff. All fun and games before somebody gets hurt or killed. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.